Hi, my name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic. And today we're going to talk about psychic attacks. The term psychic attack gets thrown around a lot. I hear so many people come to me and they're like, ah, I'm experiencing a psychic attack or this other psychic told me I'm going through a psychic attack or oh, stop it. Stop it, okay? First of all, psychic attacks are extremely rare. I'm not saying you're not going through one, but it's very unlikely that you are. And I'm gonna go into why. Before you can even fathom your issues being caused by a psychic attack, you have to exhaust all of their possibilities because it is like that one in a million thing. It's very rare and the way people talk about psychic attacks nowadays, a lot of these like new age gurus or whatever, it's so absurd. Frauds love to use this term a lot. It generates fear and fear is such a powerful manipulative force. You know, it's a way of manipulating people and that's what fraudulent psychics or spiritual gurus do. They talk about these scary things that could happen or these things that might be happening to you, curses, psychic attacks, and they use them as a way to get what they want out of you. So the first thing you need to ask yourself is where are you getting this information from? Did you learn it online? Did you learn it from a friend? Did some person you went for a reading with, did they say that you were experiencing a psychic attack or they were sensing a psychic attack? A lot of fraudulent psychics will say stuff like that. But if you've heard that from a professional reader, it is very unlikely that they know their shit because it's very unprofessional. Many people in the spiritual community are just learning from other spiritual gurus or other people that they look up to. And it's kind of sad, really. I have seen so many YouTubers and influencers talk about psychic attacks. Like, it's wild. Especially people in the light worker community. There are plenty of times when you might feel like you're experiencing an attack without anyone actually meaning to harm you. When you're developing your psychic intuition and you're becoming more in tune and in touch with that world, the world that people can't see, the astral planes and the astral realm, you are going to feel more sensitive to stuff and you will probably start seeing things or experiencing things, maybe feeling things that you didn't feel before. You might feel like you're seeing things that aren't there. You might feel like there are some shadows in the corner of your eye that you keep seeing, but, or you hear noises. Or a, a big one that I hear about is getting goosebumps. A true psychic attack requires energy of some kind. And I know there are people who say that you can just like be attacked without, people can attack you without realizing it. Like by accident, they send that energy around. Like there's so many explanations out there. But it does require a certain amount of energy directed your way. And to be honest, you're not that special. I don't know. I feel like kind of a bitch saying that. But I feel like I'm hearing this a lot. And it's so annoying. Like, why would you think that everybody wants to attack you? You know what I mean? That's like very victim blaming. That's very like this whole attack thing. It's like entertaining the notion that somehow you are worth attacking, like someone going out of their way or putting a lot of energy into attacking you. And it just, it takes a lot more than that to actually attack someone. Um, and it's very unlikely that, I mean, even like with people cursing people or whatever, it's just very unlikely to experience a psychic attack. And there are many different definitions for a psychic attack, I get that. So what can you do? It's not really worth trying to figure out whether you're dealing with it or not. Um, but what you can do is try to prevent it, right? You can try to protect yourself from it. The truth is, besides psychic attacks, there is so much out there that can drain our psychic energy. And honestly, it's usually not rocket science. You know, um, there are plenty of techniques people use to protect themselves from things that are not good for them energetically. I might make another video on psychic defense, so please let me know if that's something you're interested in seeing. It's always better to 
prevent psychic attacks from happening before they happen because it's very difficult to distinguish them from other problems. So it's so easy to blame everything on like a psychic attack or something else. And here's the other big truth that a lot of people don't want to face or don't maybe don't know about is that what gives psychic attacks power is that you don't know about them. So just being aware that you are under a psychic attack is actually weakening it. You don't have to buy hundreds of dollars worth of stuff to cure yourself from a psychic attack. So if you're still experiencing problems after you've learned about your psychic attack, chances are it's probably not a psychic attack. Psychic attacks aren't like curses or hexes or jinxes. They're really all about your energy. How do you deal with a psychic attack? Well, first you have to trust your intuition. Do you deep down in your core sense that there has been a psychic attack? Is it like a peaceful knowing or is there like this frantic energy around it? If you are freaking out because you think that you have been under a psychic attack, you are probably not under a psychic attack because your inner wisdom does not work out of fear or anxiety. Here's another truth for you. It is actually way more common for you to accidentally psychic attack yourself than for someone to take their time to harm you. Another way to easily prevent a psychic attack is to just be grounded all the time. Now that's not easy, but remember that when you are not grounded and when you're kind of floating and you're not feeling very stable, then naturally like negative energy can push you off your feet a lot easier. You know, it's easy to be pushed over. So do some grounding exercises. Uh, usually this doesn't last, it goes away. I just hear so much stuff from like influencers telling people they're under psychic attacks and they've experienced this and um, especially light workers. And it's, fun it's funny because light workers are all about love and light. I do this because obviously I don't agree with light workers um, at all, <laughs> but that's another story. If you want me to tell you, I will definitely talk about it in a video. I have a lot to say, uh, so let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, there are a lot of protective salts. It may be a good idea to create a protection amulet. Remember, there is like nobody who has the answer, okay? So for example, if someone says the only way you can get rid of this like problem or this psychic attack is by doing this or the only way you can protect yourself is this way, that is bullshit. There are so many different things you can do I'm just thinking of some things that might help if you're worried or you need protection. Taking purifying baths with lots of like bath salts or just pure water or there's different types of purifying baths or cleansing. Sometimes what I like to do is I take a really nice shower and I just kind of picture or feel or sense or whatever all of the problems and bad energy kind of coming off of me in the shower. You know what I mean? Like it's all rinsing away, washing away. There are also sigils that you can use. You can write them or put them on different things to protect them. You can put them on your person. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you can do. A lot of people know about smudging with sage. Um, they smudge their surroundings to kind of rid themselves of negative energy. It's a cleansing method. There's knot magic. Knot magic is really cool for protection. A lot of people use it to protect their space. There's also sun baths, so it doesn't even have to be like water. You can actually bathe in the sun, sunbathing. The sun is a very cleansing force in itself. And it doesn't just have to be you, like I said. It can be, yeah, it can be your person, it can be your cat, it can be your home, your friends and your family, your things, your belongings. Here's something else that a lot of people are doing wrong. Uh, they are reacting out of fear. So if what you're going through is really a psychic attack, and who am I to tell you what it is or isn't, right? If what you're going through is a psychic attack, 
then reacting out of fear is like the worst thing you can do. What it does is it fuels the problem. It fuels the attack. Don't feed the fire. If you're very sensitive, then it may not even be your problem. You know, like a lot of the time, especially if you're very empathic, like me, I've experienced this in the past, where I can sense what other people are going through, you know? Uh, so other people's energies really, really fuck with my energy. So if I have a bunch of people uh, like walking around me that are having a really bad day, I'm gonna feel so shitty, you know? And it's kind of like, like they could be going through something, but you're feeling it. Uh, and I hate doing that. I hate like blaming other people for the things I experience, but at the same time, some of us are really in tune and then we just like feel so drained with other people. And so it's really important for us to make those boundaries and like set them and avoid situations and people that are really draining for us. Another piece of advice that I have is to ask your tarot cards what they think is going on. Sometimes I ask my tea leaves if they have any insight, like is this a psychic attack? They will probably tell you more than any other being can tell you. And another piece of advice is to never pay anybody to help you with a psychic attack. Like this is not something that anyone can help you with. Like they're not trained for this. There is no one method to do it. If they are asking for money to help you cure a psychic attack, then they are not real psychics. They are not professional people. They are frauds. I don't care how many five-star Yelp reviews they have or testimonials or how many of your friends went to them and said that they, they help them. You do not give someone money to help you with like a psychic attack. Frauds and posers and fake people are the only people who would advertise about that anyway. Like if you have a real professional psychic, they do not advertise on how to get rid of a psychic attack. Like that's so not a thing that like professional psychics do. So if you're seeing that, chances are, there is a whole lot of bullshit coming out of that person's mouth. You really don't need to get fancy. Like I said, this is really rare. And if it does happen, there are usually really easy ways to figure it out and like protect yourself and deal with it. An attack is literally like harm, you know? And some people say, oh, they like accidentally attack you and whatever. I don't, I don't believe that. I think you can, experience other people's problems and whatever. Uh, but, but I think a lot of it is fear mongering. And I think it's easy to get in your head, especially when you're dealing with so much psychic energy and you're growing um, and you're expanding spiritually. I think it's normal to start feeling more. You know, we're, a lot of us are very numb. But I think that like this whole trend I'm seeing, it's a trend really, of people facing psychic attacks is just bullshit. While I believe in psychic attacks, I believe like that they're just very uncommon. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please let me know if you want me to talk more about this or light workers or spiritual gurus. I have a lot <laughs> of thoughts on this stuff. Um, you know, I don't agree with a lot of the crowd out there on like other YouTubers and influencers and this whole awake like awakening thing. Anyway, just let me know. Uh, subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have dealt with a psychic attack. Do you believe me? Do you like agree with me? How did you handle it? Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Bye bye.